Still good morning to all of you. This is now part 5 of our second day dialogues Evo training. Okay, so after cutting the floor and create the ramp, I hope you you watched the video tutorial on how to create this ramp. Um, it will be the same manner on how to create this swimming pool. So you need to cut this one again. See, this is a cut um, object or cut floor again. I use the same tab or same command for cutting these water features. And then after cutting that, I put a, a depth of yeah, see, 0.5. And then after that, I create an object on top of that to put a texture of water. So, <clears throat> after cutting, you need to again create a new object and uh, put a texture on that object with water. So, to, to get the water texture, go to this materials tab again, select and go to the catalog, materials catalog, and then again outdoor and then water. Press the water tab and now you can select a lot of different textures for water. So for this one, I selected uh, this water, water features. Okay, when you click this one, yeah, it says this water feature. Okay, um, so what else to be done with this project? Again, this, this, um, this big statue here or um, post is also done in Dialux Evo object using the object object tab or uh, yeah object tab so this one for example I use the truncated pyramid um, object and this one are extrusion or circular circular and some are extrusion so yeah you need to create it uh, yourself and if you want to see the height of this uh, statue you need to go back to your uh, elevation view drawings so go to the plan view and Okay, I think we can find it here. Go to the plan view and then show the elevation drawings and go to the side and you can see that it is not here. Okay, it's not here. So I just created the height. Anyways, okay, so I created the height and assume the height only and you can also do that. So yeah, this is just, no, wait, let double check. Okay, it's not here. Yeah, I think I assumed the height. Yeah, okay. Or I think uh, the client gave me the perspective view. That's why I get this um, uh, design for this um pole or what do you call this so all of these are objects and it's low poly and it's good now if you can find something like this in a 3d warehouse then you can use that one but if you want your file to be very low and fast rendering then just do it in Dialux Evo using the extrusion volume and the default objects inside Okay, now let's proceed with the trees and how to get those low poly trees. I would like to uh, give you another link in my YouTube channel on how I get these low poly trees and it will go here. So please check this video and um, you will find out how I get the 3D files for the trees. So one by one, I will discuss here on how to do it using the Picon Planner software. So there you go. And check this one. Just type the 3D objects using, using Picon Planner in my YouTube channel and then you can find it. And now you will know how I get all those small and low poly 3D trees all right so on the next video we will discuss uh, what else ah okay how to build this building this uh, amazing book design building 